Hi Taurus, this is going to be your mid-January reading, so the 15th through the 31st, it's going to be general, not going to resonate with everyone. If you have not checked out the 2022 forecast that I uploaded for you, I strongly suggest that you do. Very, very positive messages. They are all in playlists on my channel, so they're very easy to find. I did a general love specific and then career and money. The career and money is only three months. It's from January through March, but the other two are for the full year. Again, they're in playlists on my channel if you wanna check those out. Um, so before I get going, I just wanna mention that I'll pin a comment down below with the link to my website where you can book a session or subscribe to my newsletter. I am having a super sale on my sessions right now, 40% off my one hour um, services. So it's $100 and then it is 60 for 30 minutes. If you wanna take advantage of that, um, you can just click the link, be directed to online booking, or you can reach out to me privately if you have any questions. And I'm also going to include links to my social media accounts on Instagram and Facebook if you want to connect with me there. So we're starting off the reading with a new moon eclipse energy, and this says to expect powerful change. I love seeing this come through because this is just a continuation of the energy that has been coming through for you for months now. The first half of 2021, the energy was really heavy. You guys were really going through it. But by the second half of 2021, the energy started shifting and the messages became much more positive. So this is really encouraging that this energy is continuing. And you guys, if you're saying, well, Nancy, I haven't seen any changes, nothing's happening, um, I wanna assure you that if you're taking consistent action, you will see change. I've had two private appointments with Torin clients in the last week or two, and both of them are seeing progress, okay? They're seeing the way forward. Um, they uh, There is movement. So I assure you it's not all fluff, but you have to be a co-creator of your destiny, you guys, all right? The next card that's coming through is from the Black Moon Astrology deck. It is North Node, and this is about life's purpose. Um, we've also got Venus, and this is about love. These are from the same deck. So what I'm really feeling, Taurus, is that your life is about to change in a big way. And it's not that it's all going to come together in January, certainly not, um, but this is where the energy is right now. Um, there are changes afoot and they are big. With the North Node, this is really about your soul's mission. This is about the gifts that you've come to express in this lifetime. You've come into this lifetime to express. Um, this is about your destiny. And this is just really exciting and beautiful. So what I'm feeling is that for some of you, your destiny may be revealed to you in January, or you already know what your destiny is and you are taking steps to bring in your dreams, okay? Um, to bring in that wish fulfillment. You are walking further down that path. So this is really encouraging. Now, when we think about the North Node versus the South Node, the South Node is about what we experienced in a past life. We bring that into this lifetime and then we are meant to embrace our North Node, okay? So these are the tendencies, the gifts um, that we are meant to experience in this lifetime. You guys, I have this book. Um, I've had it for like, it's kind of raggedy, yes, because I've had it for like 20 or 30 years and I refer to it all the time. This um, Astrology for the Soul by Jan Spiller, this is about the North Node. I want to just show this to you. Um, this is about the North Node, and 
you there's an index so you can find your north node it's based on the year that you were born um, so this will go into I mean it is pages and pages and pages of detailed information about tendencies to embrace in this lifetime tendencies to leave behind I'm going to put a link down below um, if you want to order that book. Um, you can, you'll be directed to my Amazon storefront and you can purchase it online if, if you guys are interested. I highly recommend it. It's one of my all-time favorite books. Um, just so full of helpful information. So really love it. Uh, yeah, so Taurus, your North Node... Um, your soul's mission is either going to be revealed or you're going to be embracing it more fully. And then with Venus and love coming through, um, this is about your love life. And so I do feel that for some of you, you it's almost like you're going to have your cake and eat it too. How does that sound? Um, of course, it's not all going to happen in January, you guys. Uh, but the the life's purpose card corresponds to the ten of cups. The love card corresponds to the empress. That is some good energy right there. With the empress, that is you know that's about fertility. It's about new beginnings. It's about creation. So I do feel that for some of you, love you could find new love if that's what you are wanting. Um, and you could also, if you are in a love situation already, you could recommit to, to each other. Um, I do see some sort of um, karmic faded situation going on. So some of you may be leaving a relationship. Um, you may be even leaving a career to follow your destiny. Um, but there's going to be big shifts for you coming up. So this is all very, very exciting. Um, the first card that is coming through in the main spread is the Two of Roses. This is from the Akashic Tarot. The roses loosely correspond to the Two of Cups. But the message with this card is that um, there's some sort of conflict. It's not a major conflict, but it is a conflict. And so there's a little bit of drama. It could have to do with love. It just, it could have to do with business. Um, but there is a conflict that is brewing and it needs to be addressed. So let's see what this is about. We've got the Three of Cups, and so this is on top of the Two of Roses. This is about a celebration, community, um, you know, friendships, joyous times. I feel like there's something that's holding you back from experiencing this happiness. There's some reason why you're not celebrating, so why is that? Why is Taurus not celebrating? What is this conflict about? Okay, there's some sort of, um, you're waiting, you could be waiting on a decision about something and you will not be celebrating. You, It's almost like you can't exhale until this decision comes in. Um, this is what I'm sensing. Um, so this could be emotional conflict or mental conflict that you're experiencing. Um, justice does, uh, you know, this refers to decisions made in your favor. And this is about things balancing out. So what I feel is once this decision is rendered, then you are going to be celebrating like you haven't been in a long time. So this is about having success. It's about a win. Um, there's some really good news that is coming in for you. This is really, really encouraging. Um, I love this. Now, I see, uh, you know, because we've got the love card here and we've also got the fates card, which I'm going to get to in a moment. I do feel like some of you could be dealing with a karmic partner. Um, you could be married to a karmic partner. You could be just involved in a long-term relationship. Um, one of your parents or business partners could also be a karmic partner, something like that. And I do feel like there's something resolving around this situation. 
on, okay? So if you are in the middle of a divorce, I feel like the settlement that you're gonna get is gonna be fair. It's gonna make you really happy. And then we've got the Seven of Cups. Um, so it's almost like you're waiting for, like I said, it's like you're waiting to exhale. You, you've been holding your breath and it's you're thinking about all the possibilities that are gonna be available to you once this final decision is made. Um, and this girl, I don't know if you can, oh, the glare is so bad, you guys. This little girl, she's got her feet off the ground. She's holding on to this um, kite string and she, her feet are off the ground. Um, so she's just kind of floating around, thinking about possibilities. It's a very dreamy energy. So if you get into a place where you're daydreaming, just, you know, enjoy it. Um, I do feel like you are gonna have some things to celebrate. Now with the fifth chakra coming through, Archangel Gabriel, this is about truth and communication. This is about self-expression. And what I'm sensing here is there is some sort of truth that uh, is waiting to be revealed. And I feel like this is mostly about you speaking your truth, finding your voice, and really, really speaking your truth. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, so we've got the Four of Cups, and this is either like a rejection or a missed opportunity. Um, so you could be rejecting something. You could have been rejected. Um, you, uh, there could be some sort of missed opportunity, and it's time to speak up about it. Um, let your feelings be known. But what I'm sensing is do it diplomatically. Um, don't be brash. Don't be egotistical. Um, just do it very diplomatically. There's a way to be di direct and respectful when speaking our truth. And this is what you're being called to do. So there is some sort of offer that's going to come in for you that is not going to be what you're wanting. And so you're going to reject it. Something like that. We've got the Seven of Pentacles that's coming through. Um, this is like almost waiting for the right time, um, waiting for the harvest to come in. So what I would say, what I would say, Taurus, is don't just accept any old offer. Don't accept the first offer that comes in. Really think about it. Um, if you don't feel good about it, then don't accept it. And, you know, let that person know, of course, like I said, be diplomatic, be sensitive, but be direct. Let them know that this offer does not meet your expectations and you're going to have to pass. You're going to wait for something that meets your expectations. This is what I'm feeling. And then we've got the six of pentacles. So I feel like it's all going to work out, whatever this is about. It could be a job offer for some of you. It could be um, a potential raise or, you know, somebody asks asking you to collaborate with them in business, something like this. Um, with the Six of Pentacles coming through, this is about reciprocity, and it's also about balance and fairness. So I, I feel like if you wait it out, you are definitely gonna be getting what you want and what you deserve. Most importantly, what you deserve. But you are gonna have to speak up for yourself. You are gonna have to share your truth. and. I'm, I'm just sensing that that is something that you are very uncomfortable doing. Um, at least up until now, you've been very uncomfortable doing that. And it simply comes down to self-worth, issues of self-worth. Now, the next card that we've got is the fates. So there's some sort of karmic situation that you're in. We did see this justice card come through, and that does represent karma as well. Um, a karmic situation, a karmic cycle. Um, I just saw the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, I do feel like this could be a marriage or a long-term relationship. 
and I'm, I'm sensing that you're going to be getting yourself out of this situation. And that could be what the communication card is about for some of you. It's about really making your position known. It's like there's there's no reciprocity in this connection, in this relationship. And so I'm, you know, I'm moving on. Could be something like that. We've got the Princess of Swords, the Page of Swords. Um, this is an observer energy, and so I feel like whatever this karmic situation is, you are not ready to take action. No, you're definitely not ready to take action because we've got the Eight of Swords, and so you're really kind of stuck in your head about it. You're thinking about it, um, maybe losing sleep over it, but you are not ready to take action. We've got the Six of Cups, and this is a you know it's really interesting we're getting the six the seven and the three of cups and the four of cups but with the with the six of cups this is a longing it's a nostalgic energy and so there's something that you're not ready to let go of some sort of karmic situation it could simply be a dream that you had um you know, a wish that you wanted to be fulfilled and you're not willing to give up on it. Um, but you're not really ready to take action. You're not ready to cut it loose, whether this is a person, a job, um, a dream, whatever it is, I don't feel like you're ready to cut it loose. You're going to keep thinking about it. Um, and hopefully you will, you know, you will speak your truth and you will break through any illusions because the next card that we've got is dragonfly spirit and this is truth transcends illusion so i do feel like you're going to be moving on from this um karmic situation and i do feel like for some of you it is love or it's a business partnership because we've got the two of cups coming through and this is all about love, but it does indicate partnership as well. Um, so again, it could be business or love. It's going to be different. But there's some sort of illusion that you're under, that you've been under. And you are going to see the truth of the matter. You're going to break through this illusion. And then you are going to be speaking your truth um, as soon as you like break through the veil. Uh, we've got the, uh, I'm sorry, we've got the high priestess coming through. And um, this is about things that have not been revealed to you. And so this is a pivotal moment in time when some things are going to be revealed and you are going to see the truth for what it really is. You're going to be seeing things objectively and not subjectively. You're going to be able to move out of this nostalgic energy and really see the truth of the matter. And you're going to be able to move on. You're going to be able to move away from this karmic situation, whatever it is. And then you're going to be experiencing the nine of cups. Um, so this is about, you know, one step away from the Ten of Cups, which is the, the Life's Purpose card. So this is a beautiful way to end the reading. Um, you know, this is about wish fulfillment. So I just feel like you're going to be breaking through all kinds of illusions, resistances. You're going to be speaking your truth. And you are just going to be making different choices from now on. Um, and it's going to be empowering. You're going to feel more confident than ever. So bravo, Taurus. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me today. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the little bell if you want to be notified when I upload new content. And I'm sending you guys lots of love as you continue on your journeys. Bye-bye.